All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of JMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And um, Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai is going to start opening judgment, you know, on, on you know not only nations, hey, but, you know, because nations is in a, in a wider sense, but he's going to start making, you know, judgments personal. Hey, when you see how, you know, Jake within the circumcision, and for those that, of you who may not know what that means, it just means um, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who know that they're Israelites, right? Um, if you're misusing, you know, and, and, and twisting uh, the words of Yah Bashim Shah for your own benefit, hey, for greedy for greedy gain, you know, making a, a um, you know, a dollar uh, in the truth, um, or a monetary value for this truth, hey, that's that's you making the house of the Most High uh, a place of merchandise, man. The scriptures clearly tell you to buy the truth and sell it not. And here it is, Jake, a hey, try to profit off of off of something that does not belong to them. Clearly, doing the opposite of what Yahweh Shai said, hey, and that's just wickedness on one level. You know, then you have hey, the wickedness in which. Esau and, his, and these nations are bringing forth. So a lot of judgment has to has to happen. You know, you know, a lot of judgment has to come to pass, man. Right? Because people don't fear until until it's at their doorstep. You know, and Yahweh Shem Shah has allowed you know a lot of madness to to stack up just for him to bring the hammer down. It's lucky. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 and it reads because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil so because you're not getting the recompense of your of your wicked deeds and hey, you feel comfortable hey just like IUIC here it is they're, they're so called Israelites hey cause they, they they're not hey these are these are just jakes who, who left the Christian church and now have joined the organization who who knows that they're Israelites but still are Christians, right? Because that's all it is. That's the separation. Hey, because they're not, they talk about the law so much, you know, the law of this, the law of that, but now you yoke together with, with fucking nation of Islam. So, so let's keep reading. It's 12. Though a sinner doing evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord which bear, which fear before him. But it shall not be well. Like it. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days which are as a shadow. Because he feareth not Yahweh And that's ultimately what it comes down to. These nations or Jake and these nations aren't scared enough. They've forgotten the power that delivered us out of the land of Egypt. They've forgotten the power that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. They forgot the power that flooded the whole earth. And we can go on and on. The Most High's uh, uh, um, record is, is, is he's undefeated, man. You know? And it's no such thing as, as the Lord attempting, you know, to, to get you. Because if it's his will to get you, there is no attempt. It is going to become a successful act of judgment. Right, but here it is. Before he brings forth that judgment, he's ha he has his men go out on the highways and hedges to warn, to rebuke, to reprove, to exhort. Hey, but Jake doesn't hearken unto that reproof. You know they see it as personal, when it when it's far greater than than you know uh me having a or us having a personal gripe against you. No, understand what you're dealing with. You are holding forth the words of Yahweh Bashimel Shai. And you knowing that you're an Israelite, and now you have a heavier judgment upon you. That's why the scriptures say, He that knoweth uh, shall be beaten many stripes. Luke 12 and 47. It says, And that servant which knew his Lord's will, hey, because they're watching the videos, and if they not, hey, that's even worse. It says, And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So ultimately, if you're not making use of the Lord's money, guess what? 
a judgment is going to fall upon you, man. And as you see, you got a lot of Jake who's boasting about keeping the law, understanding that you can't even keep it 100 percent. They're boasting and trying or trying to boast about these things. Right. Being hypocrites. But in that a. By thy words, thou shalt be justified by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You want to hold yourself to the letter? OK. You don't want to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Hey, you're not calling upon the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Cool. The Lord is going to deal with you accordingly. Don't think that in your trouble, though, hey, that you're going to call on him and he's going to answer and deliver you because you weren't doing it before. You want to deny Yahweh Shai? Hey, then he's going to deny you before the Father, as the scripture tells you. Right? So let's keep going. Because Jake hey, is just building up, you know, a case against themselves. This Psalms 9 and the last like five verses. This Psalms 9, and I'm going to start here at 16. The Lord is known by the judgment. Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higagayan Salah. Salah. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget the Most High. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. Salah. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. And that goes for Israel as well. And that's why the scripture says what it says in the book of 1 Peter 4 and 17. And, and Jake obviously forgets this precept, you know, and have no fear that they could take, they could be one of the ones that, um, you know, partake. I don't even say partake. The ones that get caught up in this judgment. I'll say that. It's 1 Peter 4 and 17. And it reads, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? Hey, because that's not that's what they're doing. They're completely being disobedient unto the words that were written. Like blatantly. These are the most disrespectful niggas ever, man. Jake was wicked in the ancient days, hey, but we understand hey, they fall into that same lot that they fell into back then. And now it's worse. It says, and if righteous and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? If the righteous scarcely be saved, then <laughs> hey, what about you, man? Jake not worried about their um. And we go into that word conversation. It says, um, matter of fact, what manner of man ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? In the book of Second Peter 3, it says, Seeing then, in 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And that word conversation in the Greek goes into uh, conduct, you know? So knowing all these things, are going to happen. Hey, on Jake don't preach on the bitter anyways. You know, we do here through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Al Shai, Great Millstone, and we preach on the bitter. Hey, uh all really shit, ninety, ninety more, ninety or more percent of the time, because we understand that's what's to come. Daniel twelve says it. Daniel twelve and one. Matthew twenty four. We can keep going on and on. Luke twenty one. You know? This has to come. Has to come to pass, man. In your lifetime, whether you believe it or not. You're trying to build in, in, in Babylon thinking that um, you're going to have a kingdom in the kingdom or a kingdom within this kingdom. You got your mind. But Jake keeps inching towards a hey, trying to test the power of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. They have no fear of what they're doing. Not understanding that their deeds are evil and wicked. Not understanding that their deeds are evil and wicked. Hey, but soon they shall see. Second Andrew 16 and 63 down. He talks about them trying to hide their sins. If they if they try, right? And then it tells you their sins are going to be their accusers in that day. Meaning what? The blood of Yahweh Shai don't cover you. So you're going to get judged by Yahweh Shai. Jake don't want to repent from their wickedness. Here it is. We're telling a hey, all this all the Israelite groups of what they're going off on, rebuking them. Hey, saying you can have sex on the Sabbath. Saying you don't have to call on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Saying that the MOTB isn't the, the uh, C, uh, CHI to the P. 
Saying you don't have to worship him is crazy. Saying you don't have to call upon the names and worship Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is wild, man. These niggas are demons, man. Demons. And, and it's more madness. It's just all madness in Israel, man. Jake don't have no fear. Hey, but cool. You know? You hey, watch where it gets you. You know? But this is just like a, a rent. Hey, the men of Yahabashim Shai are, are sick uh, of seeing Jake go off, especially the day of the circumcision. How much more Yahabashim Shai? It pisses us off when we see this shit, man. But we also understand, as the scriptures say, let the filthy be filthy still. You know? We understand this is just a lot that they fall in. Hey, so due to prophecy's sake, hey, what happens to him happens to him. But but it still vexes you. Because here it is, Yahabashim Shai gave you the information of knowing hey, that you're just not a, a nigga in America, that you're just not a, a Latino or, or um, a Native American in America. Hey, that your heritage and your lineage goes to something way richer hey, and, and beautiful that you're a princess of the power. And here it is, Jake still acting like a nigga in America supporting black culture. No change from the old man to the new. It's the same nigga. He just got on fringes now. That's vexing, man. Hey, but a hey, judgment is going to befall and it's going gonna, it's gonna to come soon, man. And we, we pray and hope hey, that it's expedient. You know? So I just wanted to bring forth this lesson to the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. A double honor is unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.